yeah. White is kind of pretty. I like to get all the fields covered with a cover crop, but some crops come off too late in the season to get a cover crop in. The last seeding date for winter rye is October 15th. So for crops that are harvested after that date, you either have to leave the field bare or you can interseed them. We came in with buckets of rye seed, each person taking one row and scattering seed up through the row. One person could do an acre in 40 minutes. I use this technique of interseeding rye on most of the late season coal crops, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. This was a field of cauliflower. The rows are closer together than Brussels sprouts. You have to be a little bit careful not to get rye seed into the cauliflower plants. You don't want the rye to get in the plants because it'll actually grow in the head uh, just from the moisture of dew alone. This is a field of Brussels sprouts that was protected through the winter by winter rye. We got the rye on here the first week in September. We cultivated it in and now we have a good crop of rye protecting the field and something to plow down as well. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm. 